Hello, and welcome to our Let's Look At slash Let's Play of Distant Worlds 2. And now, let's head into our episode. Because... We have... Is it these guys? I think it's the Saluka. If we go to Galactopedia, if we can get a billion of them in our empire, we get a plus 20% bonus to play containment. But we need at least a billion of them in the empire, and we don't have them. We have the Atuk, and I think we have a billion of them. Which means we're getting the colony happiness. At, well, actually, I guess I can check. If I go to colony happiness. Yeah. From the Atuk race, we have at least a billion. So I'm getting a plus 5% bonus to all colony happiness empire wide. Uh, we have these guys. Who give us a bonus to colony defense and colony corruption reduction which i'm not sure we're getting that bonus oh we are okay good um we have the mortalans who give us all of these bonuses what a hit to diplomacy, I don't care. Uh, I don't think we have these guys, but yes, it is worth it to, you know, spread out your species and try to get at least a billion of each. Speaking of which, let's close this. Thank you. Pause. Show me. Good. You are... Loading colonists there. I forget where they're going, though. We'll figure it out. Pause. Virtual reality. Yeah, I'll crash that for 640k. Uh, that is not what I clicked to. No, that's not what I clicked. Mm-hmm. Weapons, please. And scroll down to troops. Let's see, and we're just gonna queue all of these up. Oh, we can't. All right. Play. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little. And just speed things up here. Because I, I am a turtler. Turtler? Turtler, turtler. I tend to be defensive. Ooh, well, that's a slow things down. Uh, take me to the location. Is this in our territory? No. All right. He can still infiltrate. We'll focus above ground. We got a free artifact. Nice. So what did we get for an artifact? Um, I believe we can see that here. And transit. Oh, that's neat. And this is in transit as well. Okay, bonus to... All right. I assume that's the one we've got. Um, I... I don't like the fact that all these are on... a single planet, but whatever. I actually like to try to spread things out. We'll get off of that. I need another exploration ship. I like to keep them at 20. So we'll go ahead and build another one of those. Yeah. Um, my my favorite thing to do in Stellaris is just build mega structures. 
Sure, go ahead and build that. Colony ship. Alright. They're all being built. Yep, go ahead. Alright, speed things up. We got a tech breakthrough. From scrapping a carrier. Nice. I, by the way, I do recommend that. Empire bonus. Pay. Um. Again, they they try to keep things really, but they intentionally put things in. Yeah. Uh, they intentionally put things in like um. Like these, this, this, this carrier, which has tech way above. Technically, it's it's a weak carrier for me, but it still has some tech way above mine. So they want you to retire and scrap these to get tech bonus, or keep them. Up to you. I prefer scrapping them and getting the tech bonuses, but that's me. Galactic diplomacy. Let's go ahead and. Pay for that. Yep. See? So, raiding fleets, even though they'll set to raiding, will still defend and attack. Alright, we got a new Admiral. Uh, all that's going to happen is that Admiral, if I go to Admirals only, is going to have no skills. Really? Demoralizing already. Bye. No, go, go away. Shoo. No demoralizing. Oh, hello. Pause. Oh, shit. It'll pop up again. Dismiss. Alright, the final tech. Can we... 5 billion credits to cash? Nope, we're just gonna have to wait. Research insight. That, that is the downside to jumping ahead at 4 times speed. I don't know how... If there's a way to say how long mission logs can stay up, but it would be nice if they would stay up for just a little long. Ooh, actually, 22 isn't bad. Oh, because it's only quality 27%. Interesting. Oh, and I keep meaning to say this, but I keep getting distracted. As a reminder, I am not the best at this game. I consider myself average at best. The AI horrifically cheats. So we did two. Uh, when you start, keep it default. I play manual. Um, colonization, I keep at speed just. Population policy, I keep fully automated. Um, but I go in and adjust. Because all, all automated does, again, as far as I am aware, is go, oh, well, you, you allow these people to live there, we'll start sending them there. But, if you set it to manual, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure what this does, then. Automate uh, control this area manual. Power control which alien races are allowed to migrate to your colonies. Yeah. A automation doesn't work. So there's no point in setting it to automated or manual. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So I just keep it on automated, go in on manual and adjust it manually. It doesn't it doesn't like go in and reset these. So I just keep it as is. Um, funding levels I do manual. A lot of things I keep at suggest. Research. What automated research does, it doesn't pick for me. What it does is if, if I had no research queued up, it goes, you need research queued up. Here's the one we're going to pick for you. I'm pretty good th at, about keeping things queued up. So again, auto manual doesn't matter. Crash research, you need to keep manual. 
ship and base design, character locations, intelligent missions, missions, missions. I keep all those automated. Uh, a lot of this is is what it is by default. Uh, troop recruitment is automated. Uh, by default, troop recruitment, fleet formation, and fleet postures are all automated. I play with them manually. Again, the automation in this game is good enough. Early game, you can keep it automated. So if you want to start a game, you're like, I want to focus on learning how to manage fleets. You can do that. Keep fleet management stuff manual, everything else automated, and you focus on that, the AI can play the rest of the game. Until f you feel you've got a good handle on it. Restart. Keep that as manual. Pick something else you want to focus on. Learn how to do that. Okay? But troop recruitment, I recommend go to manual because the AI has a habit of going... Oh, I have 19,000. I have 140,000 funding, potentially, with 1.8 billion in cash flow. And again, I don't know if they fixed this or not, since I play with manual. The AI wouldn't look at this budget for troop maintenance. It would look at this budget. So it would go, oh, you have 1.8 billion for troop management. I'm going to build 1.8 billion worth of troops on all your planets. So I don't know if they fix that, but I do manual. Because once you have five troops on a planet, the pirate AI won't attack it. Oh, let me refresh. They'll attack, but they will lose hard. You only need five. So... Keep that in mind. Um, other than that, uh, I have these uh, uh, ship bait. These are all set to auto, but if I go into ship designs, you'll notice, uh, just so I don't screw over the wrong thing, uh, state bases. Oh, uh, active buildable design. Oh, interesting. Did I ever research? Oh, oops. I never researched monitoring stations. Hold on. I, I just want to show something off real quick. We'll go ahead and crash this. It's going to be done in seven days. Done. All right. There we go. Done. So, if I go to design, ship designs, state bases, monitoring stations right here. It set auto design automatic. It will, you know, design whatever it thinks it does. If I set it to manual, it won't override that. So, again, early game, manual's fine. It does what it needs to. But once you get to late game, setting to manual, going in and fine-tuning that ship design for whatever ship class you want, go for it. Like, if I were to... We are incredibly late game. Uh, if I were to upgrade this... So this is the default. It's fine. But I bet we can make it better. Trace jammer, trace scanner, docking bay. Yep, that's fine. Four defenses. <laughs> Armor. Now. Hmm. I'm not sure stealth matters, but I think it's amusing. Go. Four weapons. Boy, their monitoring stations suck. I think the humans get like six slots on theirs. Um, I mean, this is just to look at things. So we're going to make this. There we go. And he, he can call and help when he needs it. Actually, you know what? Just so it has some punch.
We'll go ahead and I... Oh, we don't have room. Okay, never mind. Um, What would be more punch? Oh, I can't do small st star beams. Interesting. Which means I definitely can't do small hive missiles. I bet you it's because of the stealth flow. Hmm. Something to keep in mind. Alright, we I honestly don't care about this. We're gonna dump the stealth cloak Meridian Shield. Something to keep in mind. As far as components go. You do not pay for the maintenance in private economy. You do pay for the maintenance on any state ships. So you want a rec center on state ships. Medical bays, what medical bays do is if they're on a space station and that space station is around a settled planet, medical bays add to the happiness. What they also do is add to damage reduction. So we're going to go ahead and throw that on there. Oh, really? That's two... Oh, that's a large passenger component. Go. And that gives us a little more oomph. So we can throw on some sort of offensive firepower. I think we can do hive missile batteries. Nope, that's too many. Alright, so one hive missile battery. Really? Alright, then two star beams. I'd rather have the star beams over the hive missile. And now keep in mind, this game has the information. Where is it? If we go... Now, here we go. If I scroll... 66% damage reduction. So all damage is flat reduced by a 6 You just gotta find it. So we'll save an exit. Define military bases. Defense bases, yes. But I do not build as many as the AI suggests. I usually build one, maybe two around planets I think are getting attacked. Two, maybe three around Capital buildings are incredibly important planets. But I am not one to build just a military base out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yes. Uh. No, 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 no. Alright, we're good. Actually, if we go to war, I do need a couple of invasions. So we do need to build some invasion fleet. So what is the template for our invasion? It is four frigates, two destroyers, six transports. Gotcha. So I gotta do the math. If we go to frigates... Right, because I'm up to seven. So seven times twelve... Is eighty-four. 10% of 84 is 8. So I need at least 8 frigates, right? Am I doing that math right? Ah, happy to help. Oh, hold on. I got some messages from the wifey. Uh, do you want fried rice? Yes. You want to ask mom? Yes. Uh, sure, and... Okay, and... Just answering my wife. Always happy to provide. Uh, this any game I play, I'm happy to provide my insight. I don't know how good it is. It's just how I view things. Keep that in mind. I love talking about Stavars. 
So, oh, right, I was doing math. I believe a, uh, 7 times 12 is 84. Where did my calculator go? Oh, there it is. All right. 7 times 12. Yep. Times 10. Yeah. So as long as I have at least 9 frigates. Uh, but I believe... So right now I have 111. 1, 2, 3, minus... Sorry. 84. So I have 27 frigates just kind of out there doing nothing. I will build... Before we build those invasion fleets, if I'm doing the math correct, although we are shrekking, one. So it's probably 110, so I'm probably at 26. So I'm just going to build eight more frigates? No. 26. Ten more frigates, which gets me 36 doing nothing. That's fine. They'll just do their thing. They'll escort and that sort of thing. So if you do the math, I like to have, especially for an M once you get to late game, see? See? Alright. Once you get to late game, I like to have it, I keep the auto at 10%. But I like to have more. So if you do the math, I should have 8. I'm doing 36. Out of a potential... So I like to keep it at like 25%. Um, give or take. 20%, 15%, somewhere in there. Of frigates not assigned to fleets. And all they do is patrol and defend and escort ships and that sort of thing. So now we're building invasion fleets. And I want to build a few of them. At least two, I think. And we're looking at four, two, and six. All right, so that is technically... Eight. Four. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. All right, and 12, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's going to cost me 890000 I have $3 billion in the bank. Yeah, we're fine. So now we go back to fleets. Actually, we go to, yeah, frigates. And we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're going to create a new fleet. And then we go to destroyers. One, two. Wait, six or four? Sorry, four. So join this to 10th fleet. Go to 10th fleet and drop two frigates. Uh, after this game, the next game on the docket is uh, Warhammer 3, uh, a Nurgle run, because that is what I promised. And then Chaos Gate, because I'm, I, I want to check out that game. And then we might go back to Stellaris, or more than likely Stellaris, but this game is also up. Just because the last time I did a Stellaris run as the Bruvin Empire, the... Uh, the, the 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 patch they I was near the end of the game, and they released a massive patch that broke the game I was playing to the point I couldn't play it anymore. So it was obvious we were gonna win, but I didn't achieve my personal goal. So I want to do that with the same build and that sort of thing. I may not record it, but I will at least stream it. So our 10th fleet is good to go. Let's do the same thing. We'll go back to frigates. Scroll down. 
You're not in a fleet. 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 Wait a minute. Ah, and you're not in a fleet. Yep. So we're going to create a new fleet here. That's fine. Now destroyers. Oops. Fleet, fleet. No fleet, no fleet. Join to 11th fleet. Um, but if you're interested in my other Stellaris plays, uh, I have a ton of them on my YouTube channel. Some with mods, some without mods. If I do another Stellaris run, I will use at least the Plentiful Tradition mods. Because I want to prove a point in that they need more traditions in the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now, troop transports. You can actually retire. One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. You go to 10th Fleet. One, two, three, four, six. You go to 11th Fleet. All right. So now we have two invasion fleets. But I'm not sure if we have the. Tr I don't know how troops work. I could. I could have. No. There was a way to do it. Yeah, I could have. But I would have had to do it before I started playing the save. And I didn't know there was a patch until after I was two hours into the save. So at that point, I couldn't do it. So. But like I said, it was at that point in the game where it was obvious I was going to win. I had vassalized, I'll say, the only people who weren't my vassal. Hi, Lady Muck. No, no worries. Uh, Lady Muck was there. Uh, the only people who weren't my vassals at that point, I believe, were like three small empires and the two fallen empires. Every other empire in the game was my vassal. So, plus, like I said, I don't mind, because now I can go back change the name of the empire uh but i want to show off um i i i argue for this and i argue for this and i'm sure they will do it at some point but they need to increase the number of tradition tradition slots to 11. the number of ascension perks to 12 and Increase the number of possible traditions and ascension perks to like 36 apiece. Because I find 12, it doesn't break the game, it bends the game. And it's enough where like, there are 36 I can choose from. It feels like I'm getting enough where like, I've done what I need to do. But it's restrictive enough where like, damn it, I just wish I had like, two more. Sort of thing. And that you actually have to make choices. But again, that's me. Alright, let's speed things up. Uh, we're going to check on our colony ships. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Alright, this got built while I wasn't paying attention. So you... Are coming to here. And you're snagging... A bunch of these guys. You are done. So you don't have a mission. We were sending you to. Where were we sending you? It was a desert column. So these are the securities. Was it Nebid? No. 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 Hmm. No. Sorry. Buy suitability. Mars? 
We found Mars. Oh. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Was it Nebin? Why would we... Sun care. Was it Avis? It was Avis. Because of the lofty tomb here. So we get a, a colony development bonus and a scenery bonus. Okay, so back to colony ship. Colonize Avis. Oh, return to game. Pause. And let it tick through. Okay. And we're good. Uh, but yeah, much like in this game. And I do need to up the difficulty level though. If I do another Stellar Spurfing. Oh, pause! God damn it. Every time. Alright, two it is. Um, don't care, not my territory? Yeah. Oh, a new general has appeared. Let's see if he's, at the very least... I don't care about poor recruiter. Every, everyone in my empire is a poor recruiter. Although we do have a number of buildings we can build that we have research. So if I go here. No worries. Welcome back. Oh, yay for puppies. We can build reality adjustment. Galactic Tourism. Galactic Command Center. Oh, okay, well, the Diplomatic Center goes on our... But we lose a 50% fighting rate. Do we care? Hmm. But, bonus to development and happiness. Sure. Uh, these guys are all about war. We'll give them the command center. Again, we lose the mining rate. And a hit to colony income. But, we get a 20% bonus. Uh, it is... Almost all buildings are one per empire. Uh, the exceptions being... Uh, anything to do with governance can go on any building, and I highly recommend you build them on every planet. Um, the exception is these mega labs are one per game. So, only one empire per game can get these. You could have, like we did, we have all of these, but because we grabbed all of these, no other empires can get them. Um, so all the, all the governance buildings, you can throw one of those onto every single every single planet, and you should. Because, the, the again, the happiness and the development and the colony corruption reduction... Plus 50% is so powerful that we need to. Um, we are looking at... So... Here. What are you mining? Where are you? Hold on. You're actually pretty deep into our territory. Sure, you can have the galactic tourism spot. Um, and because you have a defense, all right, you have the defense. 
So what does that leave? Reality adjustment makes. Ooh, fancy. Um. Hmm. Just because. I guess it doesn't matter. They're max. Let's make these guys happier. Let's go. We'll call that a day. Interesting. Oh, unpause. All right. Let's go ahead. Four speed. I'm resting by the pause button. Now, if you don't get these, it's not the end of the world. It just it just becomes a little harder to do the sun. They're not like, oh, if I if I don't get those, I'm screwed. It's 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 not it's not like they're not game ending if you don't get them. They're just nice bonuses. Uh, yep, we need that. All right, hold on. Where is this? Oh, I don't think we can see. Hold on, show me. What are they attack being attacked by? Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, oh, they have the same problem we do. I right, did. So this, this empire. Oh, wait, is this ours? Why do we have this? I'm going to retrofit this. I'm not sure why we have this. That's weird. Oh no, it blew up. All right. Huh. I'm not sure where or how we got that. That's not even in our territory. Bizarre. That happens occasionally. Let me zoom in a little. Speed things up. All right. Now we're at the 50% mark. Or almost. Hey, they got rid of the last pirate. Nice. How much to crash it now? Three... 2.5 billion. We have the money. I'm going to go ahead and crash it. Mm. Alright. So now it's going to take days, not years. Yes, they can. They can offset, but only so much. And again, would you rather be making 321,000 per planet? Or at best, even with the offsetting, 21,000 or 100,000? So, because I, I admit my first, oh, wait, 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 pause, there we go. Okay, where is this? That's not even our territory, at least not yet. That is a, if it's the same, interesting. I can rate it. Can I get it? It is a lot of micro, and that is the problem. Um, they may have balanced things better now. So at the very least, it's not game crippling. But again, the last time I played, before I did this playthrough, it was a game crippling thing. 
to the point where I learned for me it's just easier to manually go in boom 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 real quick because like once you set it you can set it and once you do it like right as you settle you do it right as you settle you just go in every time you discover a new species you do a quick double check you're good all right set it forget it boom you're gone so again that's the thing when i play stellaris because i have been playing since day one oops you know micromanaging every planet even in a 40 40 planet empire that's nothing to me i just Depends on what you feel comfortable handling. Colony ships. Alright, almost topped off. Uh, I'm gonna decline. We're not gonna build the ships. Close that, please. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes. Seven, oh boy. That. Yeah. Oh. Pause. 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 Take me. I assume this is outside of our territory. It is. Investigate. Uh, great. We got a bonus to galactic governance and shock forces. Neat. We'll never settle there. Well, we could, I guess. It's got three. Uh, resort base and a research station, please. Pause. Hold on. Get back here. Build. Build. That's a lot of micro. I've never gotten that high. I, I only play like standard size. I've never gotten... I think the farthest I've gotten is, is technically 50 planets if you count uh, habitat stations. We could settle there. Yeah, sure. Stabilize and explore. Mm hmm Advanced hyperdrive. Nice. Right? That was... Here. That is an ocean planet. Let's snipe this. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we just wiped out an AI. Right? Yeah, these guys. Can we? Yep, we can. So, colony, ship, manual, no mission. You, my friend, are traveling to here. So we can get the bonus. May take a while, but I'm okay with that. How much to crash this now? 3.1 billion. 1.42 years. Under a year. You got it. And by the way, that's why money is technically the most powerful. This, this, this is why I argue Tekens. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I just... The only things I set to time is five is gateways. I like having gateways everywhere. But everything else is just standard. Um... I argue Tekens are not as... Like I said, I got I got into a discussion with someone who was like, Oh, no, it, you, you should only play Xenox, Octarians, or Humans because of the... the... Okay... Okay. Alright, two things. Let me finish my thought. I was wondering if this would pop up in-game. 
Um, Tekans don't get the science bonuses that Octarian, Xenox, and Humans do. But you know what they do get? A shit ton of money, if you do it right. Enough money that they can crash almost every research in the game whenever they want. Which means, essentially, yes, most other species get double the research, in some cases, compared to Tekans. But Tekans don't care because they can pay to double their researchers. I see. I don't play with primitives. I find primitives annoying. That's me. I have never had. I've never had a good experience with using primitives. So remember what I was saying about technology. That they <clears throat> purposely put in overpowered tech, and it basically just comes down to whoever finds it first gets it, and maybe it's enough to help you win the game or not. This is one of those. So, initial communications indicated a functioning agent database with much more information than we've been able to previously recover. As we assembled a larger team to lead the exploration and recovery, communications with our colony became more unusual. We have now been delivered an ultimatum of sorts. Our colony tells us that they have found a better way and no longer wish to remain part of our empire. We are told we must let them go their own way, and they have issued a declaration of independence, though we are apparently free to join them in this new way, if we are willing to abandon our existing form of government. This is clearly a major crisis, and they have made clear they are only willing to speak further at the highest levels with our leader in person. Do we risk sending our leader this rebellion colony, or do we refuse their demand and seek other means to enforce unity and prevent secession? Yes, Buying tech is broken, but remember, when you're only making 10, 20,000 a year, and it costs 1.5 billion tech to crash, you're not going to do it. So there is, there is a balancing component or when to crash. It's just that the Tekans played right can make enough money that they are more likely to pay for crashing than any other species. I'm going to send our leader. So one of a few things are now going to happen. Our leader might die. We might get a new government. Or nothing happens. So I'm going to run this at times two. So that it doesn't just... Oh, speaking of which, don't we have a new colony? Hold on. Yes, we do. All right. Uh, at least one, two, three, four, five. Uh, build this. This is not a major colony, so only fighters and shields, I think. I did. And call that a day. And then, again, like I said, all right, go into the population. No fish people. None of these guys. Nope, 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 nope. No humans, no Keter. Oh, wait. Nope, no Keterov. Uh, go down. Nope. Uh, the dinosaur boys like ice. All right, you can stay. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. The mole people like ice. Sure, these guys don't like ice. Set it and forget about it. Oh, we have a galactic science center. Well, we're building that. on our starting planet. Just because I don't think we've found the home planet of the Xenox. I found it. I've literally found it for the Darians and the Mortalans. I don't think I found ours. Which is kind of sad. So... This is one of those overpowered texts I was talking about. I don't always get it. But. Uh, when you do. It seriously breaks the game. And that is by design. 
So we are going to, if, well, if the event triggers, we're going to speed things up. Neat. Pause. Oh, can't live there. Is it in our territory? And the... Interesting. Yep, sure. Yeah, that's nice. If if I can build there, it would tell me I can build there. Pause. Assign. Play. Let's go. See, frigates are under attack. Pause. Slow things down. Our leader traveled to... Oh. Ooh. Ah. I am glad we went there. That is a very important planet. With them rebellious, rebellious citizens and found there is a society already partially transformed. The teachings within the ancient databanks had advanced both the reason and intuition of our people to a remar remarkable degree. And a shocking change for the rest of our empire, after discussion and study, our leaders declared that this distant will be allowed to follow this path and our leader will join them and the, that the rest of the empire should follow. The path of the ancients as a government type has been now revealed to us. Will we and our new leader choose to follow it? So now we go to the Zenovians government. So right now we're a republic. We can convert to way of the ancients, which look at this. 10%, 10% normal, 30% diplomacy, 20% all research, 15% colony happiness, normal, normal, normal. We lose a little, a little colony cor corruption reduction. Tourism income 25, trade income 15, 10, 10, 10. Now, more often than not, I only get way of the ancients. But... Apparently, we also unlocked Path of the Ancients, which I believe a oh, which is better, Path or Way? Hold on. All right, sorry. The Path is the usually is the one I usually. All right, I stand corrected. Path is the one I usually unlock. Wait, if you noticed, it was five, five, five. You know, little bonuses there. But if I go to way, everything gets a five percent increase. So we'll lose a little colony corruption reduction. Yeah. So, Path is the beginner one, which is still a lot of good bonuses. But then there's Way, which literally just blows everything else out of the water. And that is the point, Aria. They intentionally put in late endgame texts that break the game. They're like, have fun. Oh, he died. Our really good leader died. Aww. So, we're going to switch to Way of the Ancients. So we're going to switch. So what happened is we lost three colonies. We got massive bonuses. Show me. So we lost. Is it all three of them? No, they are spread out. So what happens is. They become independent colonies. Nope. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. And E. Cola. Show me. That's Cyrilda. Show me. Alright, I don't know why this one hasn't popped up yet. Uh, it's still on our territory, so it sh should pop up. But we can immediately let time tick. I'm going to zoom in so the, the lag isn't as bad. 
assign pause speak with them send a gift accept the gift negotiate a deal straight back what do you think of this great and the same thing with these guys send a gift negotiate a deal what do you think of these guys now what is going on i'm gonna sneeze maybe ah yeah there's no reason not to go all the way these guys okay that's not supposed to happen they're not supposed to switch to another empire they're supposed to go independent so game editor we are gonna cheat a little and i freely admit this we're just going to take this back. Immediately. Because they're not supposed to switch. To another empire. They're supposed to go independent. Pause. Cool, new colony founded. Show me. Neat. And on this colony, we immediately go in. No fish people, none of these guys, none of these. Actually, I like the spider people. I wish we had them. Uh, these guys are okay. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, nope, Matalans are good. Nope, nope, yes. And I believe no one else after them. Yep, Martian Swamp. All right, we are good. Open the colony. Uh, immediately build planetary administration planets shield one two three four five and call that good so that now that is ticking pause and we were using Okay. These guys. Sure. Oh, wow. Okay, I've never seen these three before. So he is lawful. Nice. Further colony corruption reduction. Courageous. Fine. And good at strategy. I'm okay with that. Um. Alright, so I guess it isn't capped at four. So he is learning weapons research, diplomacy, colony income, growth, happiness. All right, sure. Our plant people are being run by an ant person. And as as colonies switch over, look, now we're up to almost three billion. Yes, they have they have races from the original. Um, I believe, I, I just want to check galactic governance. I believe that is one per empire. Can only build one in your empire. Yeah, so we build this on a planet, and it gives better ambassadors, better leader quality, and better development colony, uh, government-wide. And it cranks Again, we haven't found our home world, I don't think. Unless it's this. Uh, let me look up. What is the name of the Zenovian... Sorry. Xenox home world in Distant Worlds... I don't think we found it. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay. I don't think we found it. There's, there, nothing's popped up saying we have found your ancient Xenoxian homeworld or anything like that. So I don't think we've discovered it, unfortunately. So because we haven't discovered it, I'm just gonna throw it on our 
I'm just gonna build this on our main main empire planet. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparky and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.